Hello everybody and welcome to tonight's episodes of the Reaction Chair Uncut. My name is Brandon Bucklow and I'm going to be your host. I'm getting into some different reactions tonight than my usual. I'm going to do some game reactions. Uh, I'm going to start off with some of the Assassin Creed Valhalla trailers that have been coming out. Uh, a few of them are like, they're like all a week late, uh, but I'm getting them to you guys. Uh, better later than never. I just want to give uh, my genuine reaction of these trailers and uh, the new uh, cinematics that they have for this game. And uh, without any further ado, I'm going to get right into this. This one is the, uh, I think it's called the Official Deep Dive Trailer by IGN. Okay, guys. And here we go. Only seen the first trailer that came out like five months ago. Oh! Axe of the head, brother! Dude, I'm super hyped for this. If you are too, let me know in this the comment section. Time of conquest. You might have already have it. The Age of Vikings. The Age of Vikings. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you play as Eivor. The fierce Viking war chief of the Raven Dude, clan. this looks sick. Eivor and their kin have forged into England. Oh, I get to go on like frontiers. horse, ride on horses and shit. Dangerous times, and each new landscape contains untold perils. Ooh, dude, the, the enemies on this are gonna be great. I already know that. Your saga begins with a simple need. They really stepped up the enemies that you have to go up against uh, Your when I was playing uh, Origins and Odyssey. And is the intersecting point from so I can't even imagine what they're going to do with this. Lines. Here, you'll get familiar with your clan and begin your journey. So let me don't know down in the comment section. The do you already have this game? Have you already played it? I'm going to wait until I get my PS5 or my Xbox uh, Series S. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, <sighs> Look at that. Damn, dude, that's some fucking beautiful graphics. By forging alliances with different territories, the Raven Clan will expand their influence, allowing you to grow wow. your sound and open a wealth of new narrative arcs, missions, activities. I wonder how good the uh, free running's going to be, because I can't really imagine them having huge cities like what we're used to. Each of England's kingdoms have many stories to uncover. But the open world, I can't even imagine. It's going to be nuts. Casts of characters and challenges to overcome. Are you Sigurd Drenger? Eivor? I want to see some of the fighting gameplay. Stay in the floors. Oh, here we go. Oh! Forging allies. It's like you might have the hidden blade back. Didn't we see him use the hidden blade in that first trailer? That's what I missed, man. These story arcs explore the themes of honor, glory, leadership, and choice that are central to Eivor's journey. And your pivotal choices will leave long-lasting wow. impacts across the kingdoms. Three men, three possible futures. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? Seems like it'd be one of those games where there's a lot of different ways you can go through the game. Viking warfare is visceral. <laughs> and there are many powerful... Oh, the big battles are going to be way better than Odyssey. Thankfully, Eivor is equipped with a diverse set of combat skills, including brute strength charging maneuvers, wow. close quarters melee attacks, and explosive two-handed finishes. Oh, oh. While range abilities oh, like oh you have like a freaking dog or a wolf with you? Allow you to flank and interrupt your foes from a distance. Dude, as long as they have the hidden blade, I'm fucking sold, bro. System. Which allows you to unlock perks and abilities to suit you. And I hope style. the fighting style goes back to like the original Assassin's Creed because I think I like those the best. The world and have their own upgrade tiers that improve their power and effectiveness. As you forge deeper on your journey, your explorations will. Can we even imagine how good this is going to look, console. dude, on the new consoles? Further unlocking combat options and dual wield combinations, including the legendary Excalibur. Oh, Excalibur! Choice is central. To Lobbing heads off, experience. motherfuckers! And that begins with Eivor. At the start of your adventure, you'll have the opportunity oh, that's to cool. choose Eivor's gender, and you can seamlessly swap between male and female Eivor at any time during your story. And so I race my horn. Oh, that's fucking cool! I like that. 
the best of friends and fighters. So if I can get my fiance to play it, I can let her be the After chick. After a victory, you return home with resources pillaged from your conquests. Using them to expand your settlement with structures. My fiance just upgrades. recently bought me uh, one of the older Assassin's Creed games because she knew I liked the series a lot. Systems and perks. I know I've played Barracks one, two, you to elect three. A Viking, which is a powerful uh, Viking lieutenant. Black Flag, Odyssey, to ride with, Origins. Shared with your friends online. For sure, gonna get this. Gunnar, the black oh, she got me Syndicate, and I have barely Syndicate. tapped into it. I just kind of got my characters set up, but Eivor's I need to play it. At the shipyard, Gudrun and Goodman will customize and improve your longship. And in the Hidden Ones Bureau, you will work from the shadows. And they're telling you a lot about the game. That's awesome. Serious conflict with the Order of the Ancients. We have work to do, starting in the cities of England. Our task will not be an easy one. Oh, do you get to hide in the shadows just again? A few examples. And there's plenty more fun to be had around your settlement. Drink your weight in air. There we go. Uh, get drunk. Or throw a massive Viking feast. However, growth comes with its own set of dangers. Oh no! Your settlement will become the target of new enemy factions. The septic rot has overtaken this shire. Wow. This game is going to be awesome, guys. Valhalla's world is built for a wandering spirit. You'll uncover deeper layers wow. to Eivor's own story. <laughs> sort of dramatic Mac and, and chicks. Of lines. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I wouldn't. Wow. There's always one. I feel like there's going to be a lot of story to this, which I, frankly, the last two Origins and... Uh, and as you continue to uh, Odyssey was a little lacking on the storyline. Stories and epiphanies in the most unlikely places. Oh, I, mean, so, I'm, I take that back. Uh, if you seek true understanding, but this world is just Odyssey was sick actually for Valka, the story. The clan seer will unlock your senses, allowing you to leap beyond. What? To Asgard, the legend Asgard! of the from Norway to England to new worlds. Wow. Assassin's Creed Valhalla allows you to experience your own. You, you could get lost in this saga. game for a while. The I can see that. The discovery, the glory of victory, and the light of kinship. A journey beyond kingdoms and into the soul of a warrior. What? Damn. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, available November 10th. Oh, so it's not even out yet. So I guess the the walkthroughs and stuff I've seen on YouTube are either from people that are getting the game early so they can review it and uh, try to hype up sales, or it's like being dropped by actual like the game creators. Well, shit, guys, uh, that was pretty dope. I mean, there wasn't that. I mean, there was action, but it wasn't very like hype action. But I tried to give my uh, comments and opinions on it as it went through there. I do appreciate you stopping by. For those of you who have already subscribed to me, thanks for giving me the support and checking out this video. For those of you who are new to the channel, uh, could you please just drop me that, uh, hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. That's my goal. And uh, I actually, if you guys want to see me do gameplay, I actually have a gaming channel, and you can click down and subscribe to that down below. It's called the Gaming Share Uncut. And right now I'm doing uh, the whole playthrough for The Last of Us 2, The Last of Us Part 2. Never played it before. I've only gotten like three hours in uh, starting Monday. I, I'll be starting my live streams again. I don't have a specific time set, but uh, just watch out for that. Click that notification bell on the gaming chair and you'll see when I do that live stream. Or you can watch the video in my live playlist on the channel uh, later that day. And uh, I just got through... Uh, uh, Joel getting killed by Abby and it was fucking devastating like it fucking hurt me to the core but um, I am psyched to get further into that and fucking play as uh, Allie Ellie <laughs> Ellie I always fucking her name up I have a cat named Allie well shit guys thanks for cruising by and I'll just get on to the next one I'm gonna do some more uh, Valhalla trailers and uh, also a Destiny trailer after that thanks for stopping by tonight's reaction chair and cut peace out everybody